you know, the bourbon, the pout, your great uncle Ling, the freshwater Bengal cat, the greasy leopard, the poor man's lobster, Vladimir Putin, Mariah Carey, to name a few. the pond gonna go set it up and gonna do something a little bit different tonight gonna do a night bite for one of the greasiest specimens that swims I'm eating up with none other than the ginger tiger king himself Sean Magahi if you've watched the three burbot fishing shows ever made in history you'll see Sean in two of them uh, for whatever reason he's the only guy in, in Canada that likes fishing for these things that I've met so far uh, we've got some buddies in the states that love beating on these old poots, so uh, it's a long winter. We're going to switch it up and give it a go, so fall along and we'll see how she goes. Got your trail pass, boys? This is a little less plush than I was planning on for a spot, but we're off-road wheelhousing again. All for a burb. You know that shake all too well, Normie. Goodness. Choochin' over the bank. X marks the verb. I'll tell you one thing. One of the greatest innovations in ice fishing in the last few years isn't live scope. Isn't Lake Master. It isn't 360. It's these striker bibs because they're the only ice fishing or hunting pant I've ever seen that allows me to slice my size 16 boot through them. Oh, and these bibs aren't for the weather either. They're for the burbs. Absolute first thing to do anytime you're uh, gonna be doing night fishing is get your uh, hibachi in order. That's imperative. What do you got? A bass? A soup. <laughs> Cisco stew? Hold this up like on the movies. <laughs> <laughs> I need a broomstick to put it on. Okay, man, you got the doctor to burbology. Let's hear it. Okay, well, not a doctor, a slight student. The boys <laughs> in the Southland have given me some of their knowledge. Anyways, yeah, Brucey and I were humming and hawing in the garage. And uh, yeah, the product of a couple sociables and somewhat small amount of knowledge I have on burbits, but. Basically, the name of the game is uh, make a lot of noise, get everybody fired up, pound it on bottom, big giant spoons, big jigs, and a uh, big hunk of meat. Right here, we got some uh, Cisco or Tulipy Belly, whatever definition or name you want to go by. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's heavy, it's got rattles, it's got a hunk of meat on it, and it glows in the dark. So, see if it works. I mean, there's a lot of. Uh, a couple companies out there that make production spoons um big nasty tackles one of them uh joel's pout candy that's another one <laughs> <laughs> then there's a trout and pout i think there's quite a few more i don't know i'm sure somebody will be upset i'm not mentioning okay, well, it quit advertising for them like this penguinator could be hot yeah this is here. uh the burbalicious you know patent pending on her all the above yeah see if it uh works see oh. if we can uh if it doesn't work for bourbon, it's not going to work for anything else because that thing is damn ugly. Well, you can hold your uh, walleye buoy down with it in the summer or whatever <laughs> else you need to do. But Threw some chum down there? Yeah, a little bit of stink. I mean, the name of the game with these things is uh, they're more act like substantially more active in at nighttime, unlike a lot of other species. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're cruising around the bottom. Everybody kind of thinks they're, you know, they get the misconception that... Uh, you know, they're kind of a swamp creature thing, but I mean, they're an open water critter. I mean, they're up here, we're in a big deep basin on Lake of the Woods. We've got a huge rusty crayfish population. So they're down there mucking on those too, but- uh, Okay, man, like 
Don't give up all your bourbon secrets. <laughs> no, I don't have no secrets. I just, last couple of years, like I said, the U.S. guys have kind of shown to me, and it's just it's something different. You know, not everybody's doing it. Um, you can do it after work. Like, we're just about to get started. It's a working man's yeah, sport. Yeah, it's a working man's fish. Okay, well, you heard it from the student of the sport, uh, yeah. the ambassador for burbits north of the border. <laughs> and, uh, okay, sun's going down. Let's Let's see what this game's all about. Yeah. He's on! Watch out, Normie! Damn it. I was starting to think you were lying to me. <laughs> oh, yes, sir! Oh. Talk us through it, Jerry. How does it feel? I don't think it's very big, but it's going to be a verb nonetheless. Norman, what's the scouting report? <laughs> oh! First fish on the penguinator, too. Yeah, homemade. There it is. Just sack lunched her. Boom. Okay, just like a bass, no teeth. Norman, I bet you never licked one of those before. Oh, you touched the walls. That's the first vervet penalty. First one. All of them sideways. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one giant muscle. Add a burb. You know how to clean these things? Yeah. Okay. You need a bucket? Yeah, I guess we'll put them in a bucket. Good job, man. I never even saw him slinking in. No, he escaped the scope. We better fire the camera back on again, then, eh? That's greasy. There we go. First one. Okay. You can only go up from here, eh, Norman? Well, we could go down. <laughs> <laughs> burb. burb on. I need to start leaving the camera this way so I can get the Bill Dance hook set. Oh, oh walleye. Odd <laughs> <laughs> luck walleye. That's a chubby. Oh, yeah. So sometimes you can feel him. Yeah, like he's full. That's cray spawn. Full of crayfish. You can feel it. but I do want to catch one, but... yeah. I'm happy to watch you. So it's catch not them quite as pretty, them. but yeah, hang them on the uh, the coat rack there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a nice burbot board. Respect the burb, Brucey. Uh, nice leopard, bud. Good yeah. job. Good job. We just need a big one now. Okay. Well, I wouldn't mind catching one. Well, you never know, eh? Play your cards right. I might catch a perch. I might steal your director's <laughs> chair there for sure. <laughs> Put the burbot boy to his thing. More crushing one. Talk to me, Burbit boy. Burbit in the night. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that one's getting sassy. We're going the right way. Hi, hi, flyer. Get that bird, Bubba. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. King Ling. Oh, there it is. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Rylander. Vladimir mm -hmm. Putin himself. <laughs> you guys banging him? Yeah. Given, if I can choose one fish to beat Brucey out at fishing, it's it's burbs. Oh, uh, you got any tips for me? Mosca, are you pounding bottom? Beating that bottom like it owes me money. <laughs> well, have you been watching Sean? What are they? What are they? What are they wanting? Well, he's yeah, fishing twelve. Money. He's fishing twelve feet away from me, and I haven't even marked one. We're using the same thing, so. Oh, like 
have you heard like like sturgeon will like fall of each other like it's a scent thing or they kind of get like they'll make like a groove like in the river or something like kind of make a trail okay and i really think i think birds will do the same thing it's like they just have like some nights they'll have like a track i like the ones where you just you're pounding bottom and i even pay attention all of a sudden you're like oh that hang on i just got the fish rod stops oh yeah a couple of those tonight yeah how does that feel <laughs> Right now we're kind of uh, what I would call a kickoff to the pre-spawn bite. Up in preparation for that, kind of finalizing their uh, nutrition intake to whether it's eggs or develop those gonads. And then the bite should just get better and better and better as we near spawn. And I'm guessing for you guys, and you're probably looking at a mid-March kickoff to your spawn where you'll start to see more action during the day. Yeah. Getting, getting more bitey. I mean, that's. I'm just guessing you're probably a week. Your spawn would be about a week later than ours. Just, I'm guessing you guys are looking that might be fishing right now next to a an area where they you've got some spawning habitat. Yeah. Fairly cold. Yeah, I I kind of found this spot last spring. And, I found uh, this spot. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. He caught one walleye fishing. But, uh, yeah, yeah, no, it, there was definitely some spawning taking place on this point last year. So we figured we'd call and yeah, get, the, get the burbot word from the, the Prince of Burbs himself. We got to play a crib yeah, game spot. soon. You got a good crib app? <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah we, need one that, we need a crib app that we can play against each other. Probably. Yeah, I have one. I'm going to send it to you so you can get a virtual ass kicking. <laughs> Just we can't, just we can't sit in Crawford and talk smart and do it. Yeah. Chase, chase, lake, chase some lake trout between uh, between crib games. Yeah, well, I might be back on the Lakers soon if I continue to suck at bourbon. So. Yeah, it, it might be a it might turn into a lake trout weekend here before too long. So, okay, buddy. Well, we're gonna do uh, took some steaks and some uh, freshwater lobster and uh, yeah, we will. I'll talk to you later, and uh, we'll send you a picture of the next one we catch. Perfect. Love See you it. soon, Good bud. Luck, boys. Thanks, Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the tips. Bye. Bye. Little steak and lobster. I'll be honest, presentation has... Uh, has been better in the past. Need salt, but she's not bad. Not bad at all. Mostly butter, but that'll play. Yeah. Butter hides anything. Who's that to the left? Is that not one slinking? I don't know. That's all I want to do is watch that. <laughs> I'm still watching it from here. Yeah. Oh, baby. How did I spot that from back here? And you have it in your face. That's the burbot bowl, bud. Please come over to me. I'll strip that burbot. Give me a little papping. Just kidding. I never even caught one. Ooh, he likes that papping. He's getting out of the zoom. Oh, just in time. Man, are they cool on there. He's a micro. Oh. Hold him up to the cam. Oh, he took her to eat. Yeah, when, uh, I will give one piece of advice that I've learned and been told from my Minnesota buddies is when you really get on the bite, uh, treble hooks are not the option. It's just these things got vice grip mouths and uh, they just crush the bait. So like when you really get on the bite, something like this, just a big single hook jig, some rattlers, some glow, something like that. 
that's what you want to do when you're really cracking on them. Just unhook them and back down the hole. But send her back to the depths. <laughs> Good job. Oh. <laughs> nice release. <laughs> Every time. Very photogenic. There we go. Good job. Oh, there comes one. Yeah. yeah. He's coming from the other side of the boulder. Get him. Do I keep pounding the bottom when he's coming in? I don't know. Or does that like, he's already... He's coming, like... I don't see him now. He's into that folder. Oh, here he comes. Okay. Yeah, let's keep bringing him up. Whack it. Do they like the bop or do they... Does it need to sit a bit? Yeah, just keep pulling it. He bopped her! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's King Ling, too! <laughs> Oh. We're hooked up, baby. I would have sat you out here until the sun came up, but I didn't get one. <laughs> what do you think? I think you got one. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a walleye by them head bobs. No. Oh. This is lots of fun now. I see what the, uh, what the draw is. <laughs> But it is King Ling. No, it isn't. <laughs> That's King Ling to me. Oh, get He's that curling. Away. Grab him. Oh, I'm not going to lose him. <laughs> cha, 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 cha. <laughs> Giant burb. <laughs> nice. We got us one. <laughs> he just honked on that meat whistle. That was lots of fun. See that thing? I like that. Turn him back towards me. Look at him, curly bird. Gnarly! Okay, nice. on that, we're gonna shut her down. It's there 4 a.m. <laughs> Just kidding. Sweet. Got one, Norm. Let's wrap her. Okay. Well, thanks for the burp tour. Yeah. I uh, I understand what the draw is now. <laughs> um, yeah. I got a little more love for the burb. And uh, you continue to wear your crown as the king of Canadian burbot. Nope. Not the king of Canadian burbot, but... King of Northwestern Ontario burbot. Oh, uh, even that's a far stretch. Recreational burbot guy, eh? <laughs> But, no, it's fun. I mean, we didn't get any real big ones tonight, but uh, the chance is always there. And uh, I don't know, personally, I find like every, probably second time I go, I get a real big one. So, yeah, I mean, the draw is there. It's something different. Um, not many people are doing it. So, yeah, I don't know. There's lots of, lots of room to learn, that's for sure. But hope you guys had fun. If you're still watching this video, it probably means that you're at least a little bit interested in bourbon. Uh, <laughs> Sean is actually a fishing guide out here too, so uh, if you want a bourbon trip, I'll, uh, I'll link his email. He's sighing right now, but he's itching to take you. <laughs> That's it for now. Take her easy.